Hey y'all, it's Beth from Midlands Vinyl. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use our platters. I wanna give a huge shout out to Jennifer Ness for the idea for this template. These templates are used to make buffalo plaid cups, you can make racing cups, anything that requires you to make a perfectly straight vertical line. Uh, Christmas season is coming up, buffalo plaids are really popular, and these will help you take the guesswork out of getting your lines perfectly straight. So here I have a 20 skinny straight from Maker Flow, and I'm gonna use the 20 skinny platter to make my lines for my buffalo plaid. Now I will not be glittering this cup, that'll be a different video, but I will show you how to get the tape horizontally and vertically straight. So what I like to do is to flip my cup upside down, and this is three quarter inch tape. So I just pull off a little piece and I fold it over and I tape it to the bottom of the platter. Then I'm gonna line it up on my cup so that I can see that it's perfectly even around all the sides. Then what I'm gonna do is in between these little grooves, I am going to take my tape and I'm just going to place a piece I got it off centered. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna put it in between the grooves and I'm gonna drag it down. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the cup. We do have different sizes on our website. We have sizes for the mugs, 30 ounces, 20 ounces, 30 ounces. So there's a lot of different sizes you can choose from. You can also use the 20 skinny for your smaller cups, like the 14 ounce cups. So I'm just going to put the last one on here. Now I didn't pay close attention to detail as I was putting the tape on because I can go and adjust it as I need to. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these little pieces back and because the platter is acrylic you can use it over and over and over and over and over again. Now I don't keep my tabs long because I don't plaid the bottom of the cup but I just go through and make sure that all of my lines are straight. And then I'm just gonna trim the bottom edge. just like that, okay? Now you can tuck these pieces in. So just go through and make sure all your lines are straight. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm tucking the tape inside the cup. Now, if you were using this for just your vertical lines, you would stop here. So as you can see, it's evenly spaced all the way around the cup. Now, if you were doing the buffalo plaid, you would do your horizontal stripes next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start at the top of my cup and I am going to line it up with the top of the cup and I'm just gonna go around the cup. Now when I get to the end, I give myself a little pull tab so it's easier to pull up once I get glitter on the cup. So just kind of tuck this over. And then you can either take a piece of tape 
and stick it in between here, just a small piece, and then go to your next line. I, however, cannot do that. I have not mastered that. So I have to go all the way around the cup. And then you do that till you get to the very bottom. Okay, so now that we have the whole cup taped off, what I like to do is I like to start with my darkest color up top. So your traditional buffalo plaid is black and red with a mixture of black and red together. So what I like to do is I'll start with black at the top and I'll work my way down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull every other line. And if you notice the three quarter inch tape is perfect for the 20 skinny. I use three quarter inch tape on all of my plaids, but it's up to you however, you, however thick you want your lines. Now, if you were doing a racing cup, you would stop right here and you would do your racing colors, alternating your colors. Now with a buffalo plaid, it's a little bit different. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your solid color. Remember with the buffalo plaid, your solid colors will never touch. So it's gonna be kind of like a, a star shaped around your, your solid color. So I would do black, 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 okay? And then I'm gonna do my mix, my mix, my mix, my mix, okay? So, so, your two solid colors will never touch. So on this side, beside the mix, I'm gonna do red. Mix, red, mix, red, mix, red, mix. And you, you get the idea. So then what you're gonna do is as you go, the only one that you'll have to freehand is the mix or the, you know, whatever color, however color you're doing, whatever color you're doing you will have to freehand it, but it'll be okay because you'll have your squares to kind of give you the outline. So that is how you make a stress-free buffalo plaid. Again, this can be used for racing cups. This can be used if you just need a straight vertical line. Your squares are pretty much even all the way around the cup. On my buffalo plaids, I do a solid color on the bottom usually black, the darkest color, I will put on the bottom, but that's it. And again, on the website, we have multiple sizes. We have 20 skinny, 30 skinny. Um, these can be used for tapered cups. You can even use your 20 skinny for your smaller cups, like your 14 ounces. So everything that you see here, the platters and the cups will be linked in the description below. We would love to see what you do using the platter there may be another idea you come up with that you can use the platter for another design or whatever. Uh, we would love to see that. So you can purchase the platters at midlandsvinyl.com and they are under the category, all things acrylic. Thank you for tuning in and I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Bye.